are, Kashu is a random player. I don't know what race he's going to pick, uh, or if he's actually going to go random. The map is going to be Bloody Ridge. The score is 1-1, one to one. and here we go into the game. And is this not Neo Bloody Ridge? Oh, they're using the IC, IC Cup version. I believe that's out of date. It's old Bloody Ridge, but that's alright. In the bottom left, as the white Protoss, we do have Kashu. <laughs> and in the top right, as LRM Thunder! We have Cole. Yes, this is Cole. Um, in case you're wondering why he is named LR, uh, LRM Thunder, it's obviously because, you know, he's just a that badass. No, it's actually because, uh... It's actually because, uh... Fish has, like, some issue for him where... Whoopsie daisies. Uh... Whoopsie daisies. I just blew out my overlay! <laughs> um, but yeah, Fish has some issue with, uh, for Cole where... If he, like, he has to keep making new accounts or something, so he has to keep changing his name. Anyway, I'm gonna try and fix this. I'm not really sure how. Hmm. Hmm, this is slightly problematic. Kashu is now raceless. That's very unfortunate. I'm sorry, Kashu. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're raceless. Uh Cole has a race though. So that's good. Do 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 So Kashu will just be raceless for now. Um, as I as I make sure that nothing exciting is happening. Uh, Overpool again. So looks like Forge Fe from Kashu. And oh, actually Cole's red. Whoops. The server will shut down in one minute. So let me see. What can I do? like overpool gas, a probe gonna block the expansion, a drone scout going in for coal. And I am trying to give Kashu his race back. It's like one cannon first. Um I uh Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Uh more importantly Kashu doesn't seem to be doing the standard wall off here with uh like pylon here, gateway here, forge here is the standard wall off and it's tight everywhere except between the gateway and the pylon. Um, but anyway, let's see what kind of wall in he does. Uh, six lings on the way for Cole. And let me see. Icon second. Go. Hey, we have races back. They're not correct races. But that is okay. Okay, good. Well, not good. Because <laughs> they're, they're completely wrong. I have to do it again. I have to do it again. I apologize. I apologize. It's completely unprofessional, Sale! How could you be so terrible? Well, it's actually not professional because I'm not getting paid. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gateway and Forge in a ridiculously ugly wall. That's actually like a terrible wall. I don't think it's tight here. It might be tight there. I don't think it is tight here. Uh, it's not tight here. It's not tight here. And Kashu has gone for a decent number of links with speed. Kashu looks like he's going to try and pull a Ziki in this game. Uh, so I'm not even going to bother switching the, the colors on the overlay because I'm going to watch how many links get into the base here. There's two cannons and despite Cole pulling three pro probes sorry, to block, there are actually going to be four links getting into the base here. So uh, what we can conclude from this is that in fact Kashu is a superior Zergling run buyer than Zeke. I don't really know how much that, that means, but you know, it's pretty good at them, them Ling run buys. In the meantime, a probe has gone into the base. Um, Kashu has gone for his three bases. And. Oh, is he actually at the pylon? The pylon barely survives with uh, 10 HP. All of the probes are off to defend this. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, the pylon goes down. He's going to get one of the Lings, though. And the cannon. Oh, man, the cannon warps in, but it's unpowered. Uh, Kashu. Oh wait, I'm sorry, Cole's the one going for the run-by. Whoa, I'm completely, I'm completely confused here, I'm sorry. The overlay has completely screwed me up. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bad, I'm gonna pause the game for two seconds. <gasps> How could he pause?
pause the game! How could he pause the game? How could he do that? I'm sorry, I actually have to do this. It's driving me crazy. Jesus. Alright. Alright, there we go. Da -da 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 <laughs> Yay! We're back! We're good! Woo! Woo! It works! It works! It works! See, that's what, that's what happens. Oh man. That was a complete fail. That was a complete fail. I'm expecting like many a... Uh, many a motivational about how Sale is a terrible observer. So... Looks like Kashi was unable to mine from his natural. He's not mining any gas because he's got no probes. He's at 14 supply against 18. Um... Much like in last game, it looks like the Protoss has lost from the get-go just to a Speedling run-by. Um, so I guess in that sense, Cole getting a little bit of revenge here for his, uh, for his ally and teammate. <laughs> not ally, I guess. For his teammate, rather, uh, Oya. But there is one thing, there is one very important thing to note about the game and the players, which is that Kashu, his nickname is the Comeback Kid. So, you know, this could in fact have been a ploy from Kashu to, uh, to, get, to get behind in the game and then make a sick comeback. Because if he actually comes back from this position, that would just be pretty ridiculous. Uh, now, I do expect Cole to go for Mutalisks because he's Cole. That's how he got famous, uh, his Muta control, and he does like doing that in every matchup. So we may see another ZBP that ends with... Uh, with mutas here, with mass mutas. Um, I'm not sure how good that will be on this map. It's quite an open natural. You see, uh, the way the way Cole likes to play ZVP, or at least from what I've seen on his stream, is that he uh, goes for mutas and then uh, defends the the inevitable counterattack by doing a very nice sim city at uh, you know both of his choke points, both of his bases, the, the natural and the third, uh, and just building a ton of sunken colonies. So even if the uh, the Protoss goes for a counterattack with speed zealots, which is almost, you know, which is what happens in the majority of games where the Zerg goes for uh, for mass muta, um, Cole actually doesn't even need to pull back his mutas to defend. He can just keep attacking with them and rely on mass sunkens and good SimCity and just like drone blocks to help defend himself. Uh, and indeed, there are mutalisks in production. Um, no upgrade just yet. Uh, don't know if he'll if he'll get that eventually. And what kind of anti-air does Kashu have? He has two cannons in the main, he is getting plus one air weapons. I guess he knows, uh, rather he anticipates Cole going for the for the Mutalisks, but he's got... I mean, his, his Stargate's just finished, he's making his first Corsair, and the Mutas of Cole are already on the way. I mean, uh, in the natural here, there's only one cannon, there's this cliff behind, the, the side is not really protected, uh, so Cole's probably going to get a lot of free kills here over the natural. Second cannon going down, but it's way too late. Cole's actually not even going to micro, he's just going to aim move into the cannons here. I think that's a good choice. He doesn't need to micro this at all. Uh, taking a couple of free shots here from those natural cannons. But, oh, he's actually just going to go for the Nexus. Oh my god. I think he's actually going to get it. Only one Corsair is out to defend. The Nexus is at under half uh, half HP here. And looks like Cole going to start stacking and start doing some micro. And gonna go after the Corsair, not gonna get the Corsair, but the Nexus is gonna go down here. No, the Nexus goes down. And Kashu in a terrible position. Two more hatcheries going down for Cole. Uh, Evolution Chamber and Hydralisk then. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what, what can Kashu do? I, even like some kind of weird one base all in won't work. It's just building another cannon. I really don't think he can win anymore. Um, and Cole, interestingly, has not actually made a single sunken colony, despite what I was saying, which is fine because there's no zealous anyway. And it looks like he went in with the links and the mutas, and he breaks all the cannons at the front. The natural, or the wall of the natural, is going to go down here. Two corsairs on the field. Plus one, going to finish soon, but it doesn't matter. Is he only? No, he's mining with three on gas. Uh, but I mean, that's pretty much going to seal the deal here. Cole sending in a few more links. He's got just Overlords rallied there as well. 
Uh, I don't know where those two probes are going, but they're gonna die to Zerglings. Cole doing some fancy Muta Micro. Uh, I mean, the map now is essentially just a Muta Micro UMS for Cole. Uh, he can, he can do it, build whatever he wants, Micro as much as he wants. He's getting uh, Hydro upgrades, he's getting plus one attack for his Hydras. Is he getting uh, any air upgrades? No air upgrades, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, a bunch of links coming to the natural, and Kashu just needs to GG. Uh, looks like, oh interesting, Cole actually targets the Forge, knowing that Kasha would make a, a lot of cannons to try and just live. But, yeah, here come the Lings, Mita's gonna pull out a little bit, because there are two Corsairs. Probes coming off the line to help block, they're doing a good job, Cole's losing most of his Lings here. But it looks like one cannon will go down, the other cannon is gonna go down, Cole actually ignoring the Corsairs, just gonna go for the cannons. Uh, because Kasha has no ground defense, his, he doesn't even have a gateway right now, this is his only gateway. So the Lings by themselves will pretty much just finish the game. Looks like Hydra's coming in as well. And Kashu, man. Kashu is about to lose to LRM Thunder. GG! And Cole taking the game. And uh, putting his team up 2-1 here in the second match of the Gambit's Cup Finals. Very well played by Cole. And once again, I do apologize for all those issues I was having in the beginning of the game, man. Between the overlay and miscalling everything, not my best showing. Uh, anyway, it looks like uh, Fish is back up now, so I can jump right back on and keep going. And uh, just going to quickly play a commercial in the meantime, as I get the game. <clears throat> I have been informed. I have been informed that we do not actually have a game yet. So, we're actually just going to chill a little bit uh, while we wait. Oh, let me actually update the score.